If you're looking for the best deadlift shoes for white feet, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Automix Stingray Shoe. Another shoe that is known for its wide feet support is the Automix Stingray Shoe, which is a widely versatile shoe that can also be used for a variety of other activities, such as MMA, boxing, wrestling, and general weightlifting. What I like about the Stingray besides being versatile is that it comes with a wide toe box that suits people with wide feet. The shoe is quite durable and the outsole is made of synthetic rubber that resists heavy compression making it a great choice for lifting heavy barbells without worrying about slipping as well as wear and tear. The Automix Stingray is renowned for its excellent ankle coverage. The shoe comes with an extra tall ankle collar that provides top ankle support. This makes it great for deadlifters who like to have extra gripping support on their ankle while lifting heavy weights. Mostly a benefit for sumo pullers. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Sabo Deadlift Shoe Pro. Sabo Deadlift Shoes are one of the greatest shoes for deadlifts out there. But if you have wide feet, you should consider the pro version because it comes with a roomier tote box. I also found that the pro version was the most comfortable out of all the deadlift shoes just in terms of wearing it throughout the workout. As you might know, deadlifting shoes aren't typically known for comfort because of the lack of arch support. In terms of performance, I really liked how you could grip your big toe and pinky toe into the floor because of the wide toe box, which enhances your stance and allows for the maximum transfer of force through your feet into the barbell. The shoe is fully dedicated to deadlifts, as it comes with a thin and compressible sole with no cushioning or padding to keep you as close to the floor as possible. The benefit of this is that you minimize the range of motion you have to pull the barbell. The outsole is also made from slip resistance material to keep your feet stabilized. This is especially important if you deadlift sumo since you don't want your feet slipping sideways. As well, while high ankle support isn't necessary for conventional deadlifting, the Sabo Pro versions have the ankle support required if you do pull using the sumo stance. The number 3 position is held by lifting large deadlift slipper. If you're on a tight budget, you might want to consider a deadlift slipper. These products are usually quite cheap when compared to actual shoes. However, they do work brilliantly for conventional deadlifts, not for sumo deadlifters because they don't have the ankle support. You will wear a deadlift slipper if you like deadlifting barefoot. However, the design of a slipper gives you the proper protection from the dirty floors as well as the slip resistance you need to stay stabilized. It's no double. A deadlift slipper is extremely thin and gets you the closest to the floor. I would say these shoes weren't built from the ground up with wide feet in mind. So if you have quite wide feet, I would opt for one of the two options above. Sabo Deadlift Pro or Automix Stingray. However, the material is somewhat stretchy so if you do have wide feet, there is a little bit of give and it should stretch out over time. But like I said, my recommendation is still likely to go with one of the other two options above. Especially if you know you have super wide feet. Next, at number 4, we have a 6 men snap down 3 shoes. A 6 math flex shoes are originally designed for wrestling. However, the powerlifting community has been using wrestling shoes for lifting for a long time because they fit the bill for good deadlift as well as squat shoes. The snap down 3 from a 6 is known for having a wide option in its sizing scale, which is excellent for those who require a little bit of extra width in their shoe. The soles on these shoes are almost entirely flat where it matters, as they have no heel elevation. This protects you from losing your balance and keeps the barbell on you all the time during a deadlift. The soles on the shoe are only 5mm thick at the thickest point. This means that it will keep you as close to the ground as possible. It's not the most minimalistic shoe on the market, which you want for deadlifting, but it certainly isn't terrible. Finally, the number 5 position is dominated by Converse Chuck Taylor. Last but not least, if you're looking for a versatile shoe that you can use for various purposes all the while having a white profile, you might want to try the good old Converse shoes, with tons of colors and sizing options. Some of these shoes have a white toe box design that makes them suitable for athletes with white feet. Converse shoes also have a flat sole with minimal padding to keep your feet stabilized and minimize the range of motion. The sole thickness of Converse is usually 8 to 10 mm, which can be a little thicker than average deadlift shoes but not too high and suitable enough for powerlifting. Whether it's deadlifts or squats, they are not the best shoe for deadlifting with wide feet, especially when comparing the other products above. But hey, they are pretty darn affordable. So if you're on a budget, and you don't want to wear deadlift slippers, they are a great option. Once you have more money to invest in deadlifting shoes, you can then go with one of the options above. That's all for today. We upload fitness product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.